Acer's entry into the smartphone market has been deliberately slow, especially in North America, where competition is tight and it's easy for makers to get lost in the crowd. Much like its PC business, the high-end flagship isn't Acer's game. It's the sandbox of the mid-range and lower that the company wants to play in. As it looks to gain a sliver of market share, it's considerably lighter and thinner than other handsets with 5-inch displays. That has already been on the market in Asia and Europe for months. Though its availability in the U.S. as an affordable handset at a decent outright price doesn't bring much brand power with it. The company simply isn't known in these parts as a smartphone manufacturer. In trying to take on the likes of Motorola, Asus, HTC and Huawei, does this phone help Acer to compete? What's most obvious about the liquid Jade Z is its weight and thickness, or lack thereof, at a mere 110 grams and 7, 9 millimeters thin. It's considerably lighter and thinner than other handsets with 5-inch displays. The feathery design has much to do with the type of materials used to craft the device. And it's mostly down to a thinner plastic back, etched in a unique pattern. It does improve grip, and doesn't look too bad. But premium craftsmanship, this is not. The lens protrudes out noticeably, which comes as no surprise when the phone's body is this thin. At the bottom is the rear speaker. The front is pretty standard. Gorilla Glass 3 should help keep the 5-inch display relatively scratch-resistant and free from cracking. The speaker at the top looks a little unusual by smartphone standards. And the front-facing camera sits right next to it. The front and back are fused together by sides with 